So if I'm not on a blanket or anything, I'm kind of rounded like this. But if I sit on a blanket or a block or something, then your hips kind of splay a little bit open and then you can sit up tall and you'll just find that your posture is a little bit better. Nice. And then let's take our hands and kind of dig them into our pelvic floor and make sure that our hips are activated and then lift your chest. Nice. And then just take your palms on your thighs and begin with your breath. So inhale, open your mouth, exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Open your mouth, exhale. Seal your lips, inhale, feel the breath coming in. Seal your lips, exhale through your nose. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Inhale through your nose, feel the air coming in. Exhale through your nose, feel the air coming out. Take one more round of breath here. And then we're gonna start with something called Veloma breath. So after you exhale, I want you to just fill up to here. So inhale to your belly, pause. Then inhale to your chest, pause. Then inhale to your throat, pause. And then exhale, release. Good, inhale to your belly. Pause. Inhale to your chest. Pause. Inhale to your throat. Exhale, release. So stay with that three part breath on your own. And notice when you think you've gotten to the top, you still have more. So this kind of helps me with anxiety. So inhale part way, you think, oh my God, I have no more air. And then you go fill up a little more. Oh, okay, now I have no more air. Wait a minute, fill up a little bit more. Wow, I had all of that air in me. Exhale, release. And then one more time, inhale. Pause, inhale. Pause, inhale. Pause, exhale, release. Nice. And then let's come on to your toes and we'll stretch our feet a little bit. So dig into your corners of your pelvic floor and squeeze your booty so that your pelvis faces forward, not down, not up. Good. Tuck your toes under and then let's just come down onto your toes and up and down and up, nice. And let's go with your breath, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, good, stay on up, dig in here, good. Reach that right arm forward and across. Bring your left arm under, pull your right arm with your left, your left arm with your right, lift your chest, squeeze your booty. Good, and then tuck your chin. Bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Good, gaze at the floor. Gaze across, gaze on up. Good, and then come on down. And then release your arms, sweep on up. Inhale, focus on your breath, exhale. Inhale, good, exhale. Inhale, squeeze your booty, squeeze that pelvic floor, good. And then bring that left arm in front of you. Reach, reach, reach. Bring it across, right arm under, left arm pulls out, right arm pulls in, drop that left shoulder, squeeze your booty. Nice, tuck your chin, left ear to left shoulder, inhale. Look at the floor. Exhale. Inhale, look across. 
Exhale. Good. Inhale. Eyeballs go up. Feel that stretch in the right side of your neck. Exhale. Good. And then release your arms. And one more time, come in and up. Squeeze your booty. Exhale, come on down. Come in and up. Good. Exhale, come on down. Nice. And then let's make our way onto all fours. Good. Press your hands in from, into the mat. Pull your pelvic floor in and up. Nice. And then I want you to take your right leg behind you. And we're just gonna stay here for a moment. So take your right leg behind you, engage your belly. And then I want you to lift your inner thigh, then drop your right hip. So squeeze your pelvic floor. Your foot should be in line with your tush. Good, press in your hands, lift your pelvic floor. Stay there or reach that left arm forward and hold. Squeeze everything together. Press your right foot to the back of the room. Press your left leg, left hand forward. Nice, good. And then bring your left hand down. Bring your right foot forward. If you need to, put a blanket underneath your knee. And take that longer stance. So take a longer stance than we've been taking. Fingertips on either side. Pull that right hip back. So dynamic movement in your hamstrings. Forward. Back. Forward, back, forward. And then come on back, bend your right knee a little bit. So bend it a little bit and dig that right heel into the mat. So feel everything turn on. And then from that active stretching, pull that right leg straight. Nice, good job. Come forward and then bring your right knee down. Press in your hands, engage your pelvic floor. Nice. And then pull yourself forward. Pull down to the floor. Nice. And then hands next to you, squeeze your booty. Lift your legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Right hand on top of left, bend your knees, go from side to side. Nice. Hands next to you again, squeeze your booty. This time, lift your chest. Lift your chest, arms go next to you. Strengthen the back of your arms, strengthen your upper back, squeeze your pelvic floor. Nice, Marianne. Good, and then left arm on top of right, bend your knees, go from side to side. All right, this next time, we're either gonna do both, or pick one or the other. So lift what you can lift. All right, drop down. So let's start with squeeze your pelvic floor, feel your belly pull in and up, and then lift your chest, lift your arms, and then maybe add your legs. Whatever works in your body, or keep your legs down. Nice, left arm on top of right, bend your knees, turn your head to the right, go from side to side. Nice. And then slide your hands next to your chest. Hug your elbows in and up. Press up. Good. And then we'll do that sunbird on this side. So press in your hands. Make your arms strong. So squeeze into your hands so that you feel, you feel your chest turn on and you feel the side your serratus turn on. Then squeeze your belly like you're digging into those hip points. Take that left leg behind you. Look at your left foot. So look underneath you. Good. Drop your left hip so that it's in line with your right hip. And then lift your inner thigh. So really actively stretching. Good. Then press in your hands. Stay there or reach that right hand forward and hold. So press your left leg really strongly. Press your right arm forward. Nice. And then both hands on the mat. Bring your left leg forward. Take that longer stance. And then fingertips on the mat and then pull that left hip back. So feel that nice opening in the back of your hamstrings. Like, oh, this feels good. Nice, just come forward and back. And then on the next one, pause here. 
engage your pelvic floor, bend that left knee slightly and dig that heel, right? Like you're trying to find gold in that mat. Good, and then with that activation, straighten that left leg. So start to straighten, but keeping that digging sensation. So now active hamstring stretch. Nice. And then come forward, hands to the mat. And then I want you to grip the mat again, engage your pelvic floor. We're not even gonna go down. I want you to just pull forward and pull back to child's pose. Good, come to plank on your knees, pull forward. And then come back to child's pose. And then this next time we're gonna go forward and down. So come on into tabletop, pull forward, engage your belly and pull with bent elbows to the mat. Nice, good job. And then let's take our elbows in front of us, come into sphinx pose. So grip the mat, engage your pelvic floor, lift your chest, good. And then stay there or lift your hips, squeeze that pelvic floor like you're digging in with your hands on your pelvic floor. Stay there or lift your knees, keeping your hips in line with your shoulders. Good job, you guys. Press, your, press forward. I see that, Fiona. And then knees down, hips down. Rip the mat, squeeze your booty, lift your chest. And then one more time. Just lift your hips first and squeeze your pelvic floor. If you're gonna stay on your knees, lift your feet and shift forward so you gaze between your thumbs or lift your knees, press off your toes. Squeeze that booty, keep your gaze at your thumbs. Good job, you guys. Nice, knees down, hips down. Let's take a little child's pose. That was a lot of work. <laughs> that was a lot of work already. Good job. Nice. And then from here, come to puppy pose or downward facing dog or forearm plank. Good, grip them out with your hands like it's a basketball. Good. And then like someone is taking your hips and pulling them towards the ceiling. Pull back and turn on your quads and your hamstrings, bringing your chest towards your legs. Nice. And then let's bend your knees and straighten. Bend. Nice. That looks good, Fiona, and straighten. Good job. Good, Aoko. Nice. Nice. Everybody looks good. Good job. And then from here, bend your knees, look forward. Walk or float to the front of the mat. Come to flat back. Dig into your hips. Lengthen your neck. Stay here or fold, grabbing your elbows. Bend your right knee, turn left. Bend your left knee, turn right. And then press in your feet, sweep your arms up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Nice, we're gonna do some lunges. So first let's do a half salutation. Take your feet wide. And then let's Come on down into Malasana. So you can be up high, press your arms into your thighs, your thighs, thighs into your arms. Nice. And then come to flat back, inhale. And then exhale, fold or stay there. And then inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right, so we're all pretty familiar with the lunging sequence. So let's try and focus on our breath. So come to the front of your mat, lift your toes, feel the arches in your feet lift, feel the arch in your pelvic floor lift. Good, drop your toes down, inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, flat back or fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step your right leg back, drop your knee. Exhale, straighten that left leg and bend. Straighten your left leg and bend. 
straighten your left leg and bend. Hands to the mat on your knees or regular plank. I'm going to say on your knees, pull forward and down. Good. And then low cobra. So squeeze that pelvic floor, lift your chest, stay low, squeeze your booty, roll your shoulder blades down your back. Nice. And then come up onto all fours. Inhale, exhale, right foot forward. Nice. And then inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten your right leg. I know why you signed up, Pat. I know you like this. Exhale, bend. Good. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, bend. Lift your back leg. Squeeze your legs. Squeeze your booty like you're trying to hold something between your legs. Shift forward and bring your left foot to your right. Come to flat back. Good. Lengthen your head forward. Stay there or fold. Exhale. Inhale all the way up. Squeeze your booty. Exhale, hands to your heart. Left side, inhale, arms up. Exhale, flat back or fold. Inhale, flat back, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fingertips to the mat, left leg back, drop your knee. Inhale, straighten that right leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Good. Hands to the mat. Come on to all fours. Squeeze your booty. Come forward and down. And then low cobra. Press near your hands. Lift your shoulders. Squeeze your booty. Good. Come on to all fours. And then bring your left foot forward. Nice. Straighten and bend. Nice. Straighten and bend. Nice. Sorry if I messed you up, Amanda. What is she doing? Doing a lot of handy hamstrings. Good. And then come forward, lift your back leg, squeeze your legs together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Shift off your toes, bring your right foot to your left. Come and flat back. Stay there or fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. We'll do that same sequence, but with a twist. Inhale, press near your feet, squeeze your pelvic floor. Good. Exhale, flat back or fold. Inhale, flat back, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fingertips to the mat, step your right leg back, drop your knee. Good. And then engage your pelvic floor. Take your left hand on your inner hip, pull it back. So pull it back and press in that foot and squeeze your legs like you were just squeezing them, like you're holding something. Nice. And then reach that right arm forward. Grab the outside of your knee. Press your hand into your knee, your knee into your hand. Good. You can stay there. You can put your elbow on the inside of your knee. Left hand on top. I really care mostly about what's happening with your hips. Really press in that left foot and press in that right knee. Nice. Exhale, hands to the mat. Come on to all fours and let's do that pulling. So grip the mat, engage your pelvic floor and then pull yourself forward into the floor. Nice, nice, Amanda. Good. And then hug your elbows in, engage your pelvic floor, low cobra, medium cobra. Up dog if you want. Nice. And then make your way onto all fours. Good. And then step your right foot forward. Lift your back leg. Squeeze your legs together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So you feel like your inner legs are turning on. Nice. And then you are going to come forward, come to flat back. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Now just the left side. Good. 
Lift your arches, squeeze your booty, look up. Exhale, flat back or fold, breathe. Inhale, flat back, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fingertips down, step your left foot back, drop your knee. Good. Press into that front foot, take that slightly shortened stance. Take your right hand and dig it into your hip. So pull that right hip back. Nice. Press into that front foot and reach your left arm forward. So you come forward, yes. And then take that left hand on the outside of your right knee. So you're pressing, I really care more that you're pressing your knee into your arm than if you're doing a fancy thing with your upper body. So you're getting a nice opening in your upper body, but you're really using your legs. Nice. And then fingertips to the mat. Good. Come on to all fours. Claw the mat. Engage your belly. And then pull yourself to the floor. Pull yourself to bent elbows. Nice. Good job. And then hug your elbows in. Make your way back up onto all fours. Nice. Step your left foot forward. Zip up your back leg, squeeze your legs together. Nice. Press forward, bring your right foot to your left, calm the flat back. Stay there or fold. And then inhale all the way up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Okay, if you have blocks or books or something you can put your hands on to give yourself a little elevation, um, Amanda, you might not need them because you have pretty open hamstrings. You could use one block. We're going to do standing splits, but I want to be really aware of what's going on. Um, be really aware of what's going on with your, um, with your legs. So you can bring one block down or both blocks down. And we're going to come into a standing split. So let's bring your right leg back, bend your front knee, and then dig, dig, dig into your hips. So feel everything turn on in here. So let's put your hands on your tush and squeeze everything towards each other, like there's a block there. Nice. Then you're going to bring your fingertips onto your block and then lift your back leg. Now, just like we just did in Sunbird at the beginning, I want you to lift your inner leg and then drop your right hip. So look at your right foot so that they're even. Make them active, engage your pelvic floor. Nice. So standing split, good. And then from there, keep the right leg active, bend your left knee, and then see if you can bring your hands together in prayer or out to the side for warrior three. Keep those legs active. Nice. And then exhale. Right leg down. Chair pose. Nice. Good job. And then flat back or fold. Inhale, press to standing. Good, hands to your heart. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Step your left leg back. Good. And then let's bend your front knee, engage that pelvic floor. So pull it in and up and bring your hands onto the blocks. Or just come onto your fingertips. And then lift that back leg. And I want you to make it active. So I want you to pull that back leg in. I want you to Engage that inner left thigh and then drop your left hip so it's even with your right. So really activate that left leg, nice. And then if you can, you can come up into warrior three, but don't worry about it. Lift your chest, Aoko, yes. Nice. Good job, you guys, nice. Nice, Amanda. Good, and then bring that left leg down. Good job, and then let's do a Chair pose, good, and then we'll fold. Nice, and then 
Let's do chair. Good. Hands to the mat. Come to down dog. And then press into your hands. Take that right leg up behind you. Come high on your left toes. Squeeze your pelvic floor. So squeeze your booty. Nice. And then bring your right knee to your right elbow. Good. Bring it back. Bring your right knee to your left elbow. If you need to be on your side, ignore me, Allison. Bring it back. And then step your right foot forward. Sorry, Allison, don't hate me. Okay, so warrior one, let's go for a wide warrior one. So press into your big toe, your pinky toe, your heel. Dig into this hip point, lift it up. Nice. Let's add your arms. Good. Make fists. And then bend your right elbow, grab it with your left, engage that pelvic floor. Stay there or bring this right hand around, make a fist, take it into your back. Good, press near your feet, squeeze your booty. Nice. And then shift forward, fingertips on the block again, come on to your toes, press into that front foot and lift that back leg. So don't rush the warrior three. Let's Really focus on your leg position. So I want that left foot to be pressing into an imaginary wall. I want you to squeeze your left booty. Toes are facing the floor. Nice. Drop that left hip. Good. Stay here. Or bend your knee, your right knee, and press into warrior three. And then activate all those parts of your left leg again. Squeeze that inner thigh. Nice. Nice. And then exhale, come back down. You guys, your legs look amazing and that's what I care about. Nice. So warrior one, good. And then hands to the mat, come to downward facing dog. Okay, Allison, I love you. So take that left leg up behind you and just take circles with your left hip up in the air. Like take big circles with that left knee around and around. Okay, so you can do that everyone or bring that left knee to your left elbow. Bring it back. Left knee to your right elbow. Bring it back. All right, and then everyone step your left foot forward. Come into warrior one on this side. Nice, good job. So engage that pelvic floor. So lift your hip points, squeeze your booty. Make that all active. Nice. Then shift, bring your fingertips to the block. And then turn your back toe toward the floor and lift. So I'm gonna come off the block because it's easier for me. Look at that back toe. I want your toes facing the mat. I want you to squeeze that inner right thigh and lift it and then drop your right hip so they're even. Yes. Good, now push that back like, yes, Fiona, like you're kicking me. Like, I don't like this and you're kicking me. Nice. Stay there, that's fine. If you want to play around with coming up to warrior three, you can. I'm falling, by the way, while I'm teaching you. So you're not seeing that, but I'm falling. Just, just so you know, we're all in this together. Nice. Good job. And then exhale. Come on down. Good. And then let's take your right leg over your left. Lift and lengthen. And then exhale, fold. Nice. If you want to hook your thumbs and let your shoulders invite your shoulders to the party, you can. Or if you just want to make it about your legs, really squeeze your booty, engage your pelvic floor. Nice. Inhale, come on up. And then switch sides, left leg over right. Engage your pelvic floor. Nice. Hook your thumbs, look up, and then come forward. So you can let your arms come up and over. You can let your hands release to the ground. Really bend that left knee, stick that right side of your tush out. Nice. And then inhale, come on up. Good, let's come to warrior two. So that was a lot of the back of the, of the hamstrings. Let's do a little bit more side. So take your feet wide, take your arms out so your feet are as wide as your arms. Yes, and then uninvite your arms for now because I want to get our legs correct. So turn your right heel, heel to arch. Front foot is parallel with the long edge of the mat. 
back leg is parallel with the short edge of the mat and then lift your toes and engage that pelvic floor. Dig into these hips, right? So you're not, your hips aren't facing up or down, they're just neutral, good. Drop your toes, hook your thumbs and pull your arms down. So let that lift your chest, nice. And then add your left arm, add your right arm. Good, and then let's bend and lift and straighten. So dynamic stretch out to the side, right? Bend, lift and straighten. Bend, lift and straighten. Good, and then bend and just breathe. Inhale, exhale, press in those feet, lift those hips, inhale. Nice, exhale, good. And then bring your right hand to your inner thigh or come onto your elbow, press your elbow into your thigh. Take your left hand on your outer hip and press it open, nice. And then take this left arm up, lift your hips and over to the side. And then let's take those big circles with your left arm. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, nice. Take that left arm up, bend your elbow. Nice, press into your thigh, spin your chest. Good, inhale, come on up. And then take your feet parallel and let's just bend and straighten. Bend and straighten, nice. Good job. And then from here, come to flat back, dig that pelvic floor in and up, lengthen your neck, or come forward, exhale. So this is an inversion, by the way. So if you don't love to do headstands or handstands, this is a perfectly acceptable inversion. Your head is below your hips. And breathe. Pressing your feet for that nice stretch in your hamstrings. Good, inhale, come to flat back, come all the way up. And then turn your foot out to the side. So you should be, your feet should be about the right length already. Bend your left knee and then lift those toes again. Engage that pelvic floor, take your hands behind you. Good, and then drop your toes. Good, add your back arm. Turn on that back leg, make it active, right? Like let that really engage. Add your front arm. And then just straighten and lift. Engage that pelvic floor. And then exhale, bend. Straighten and lift. And then exhale, bend. One more time, straighten and lift. Exhale, bend. And then press near your feet. Engage your pelvic floor and just breathe, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, nice. And then bring your back of your hand into your leg or come onto your elbow, but put pressure with your arm into your leg so that it's strengthening. Take your right hand on your hip and pull that more open. Nice. Press near your feet, engage that pelvic floor. And then reach that right arm up. So your hips come up, you're pressing your feet. And then bring your arm next to your ear. You can stay there. Or if you did the circles, bring your arms around. I know we've been so focused on our legs that we have not been very loving towards our shoulders, sorry. Good, reach that right arm up, bend your elbow. Press your elbow into your back, your arm into your leg. Nice. And then inhale, come on up. Let's go from side to side. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do one more crazy balance pose because we just did all that opening. Okay, so take your left hand maybe on a wall because I have to face you, I have to do pretend wall. And then dig into those hips again, right? And squeeze your booty, good. Press into that left leg and lift this right knee. So maybe it's just gonna go to here, that's fine. Or maybe it goes higher. It just depends on how open your hips are, that's it. And then hand on your knee, maybe you go out to the side. Good. 
and then come back to center. Right leg on top of left, lift and lengthen, hold. Nice. Inhale, come on up. Switch sides. So engage that pelvic floor, squeeze your booty, lift your chest, right arm goes out to the side. Good. And then press in that right foot, maybe have a little bend, lift. Good. Hand goes here or maybe out to the side. Nice. And then come back to center. And then left leg on top of right. Dig into your hips, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hold, bend that left knee. Nice, inhale, come on up. And we're either gonna do the same thing again, or Amanda Chin, you're going to the next level. All right, so squeeze that booty, dig into your hips so that you're strong. Lift and lengthen your spine, find your focus. Left arm out to the side or on the wall. Good, lift this leg and stay here. Or grab your toes, don't force it. Uh, maybe slightly bend your knee, straighten your leg or straighten it. I think Amanda can do this better than me, but I, nice. And then take your leg out to the side. So bent or straight, doesn't matter. Nice, nice. Now this is the part that I don't like. Come back to center and hold your leg without, without your hands. Woo! And then take a little hip circle. I can't forward fold again, so my body's like, if you forward fold again, it's not gonna be good. Uh, pressing your right foot, squeeze that right booty. Good, right hand out on the wall or imaginary wall. Lift your chest, find your focus. Lift your left knee up. So maybe you're here and you're just holding your knee. That's fine. Maybe you can go higher. Maybe you grab your toes and you just stay there and really press into that right leg, squeeze that right booty. Maybe your leg is slightly bent, nice. Maybe you're all the way forward. Maybe you haven't practiced in a while, so you are not all the way forward. Good, and then take your leg out to the side, whatever you're doing, press into that right foot. Nice. Good job, come back to center. Good job, you guys. Keep your legs strong. Nice, left leg down. Woo, let's take some hip circles. Woo, all right, good job, you guys. Nice, and then let's come down into Malasana. So maybe you're up here pressing in your thighs, maybe you're all the way down here. Good job. All right, and then we're gonna do our 90, 90, 90. So come all the way down. I guess I was falling down. <laughs> Take your left knee parallel with the short edge of the mat. And then see if you can take your right leg parallel with the short edge of the mat. And if that hurts your back hip, then shorten it. If it's too much, you can shorten it. Good, but, and then see if you can press in your left knee and ankle and just really press down into your shins. Good, and then, Take your right hand on your hip and roll forward and back. All right, some popcorn's going on, you guys. Some pop in, some popcorn is happening. Good. Then lift, press down so hard that you can lift your arms up. Nice. And then take your hands on either side of your left leg and fold. Breathe. Nice, inhale, come all the way up. Take your hands behind you, go the other way. One side of your body might be different than the other. So this is my wonky knee. I have to be more thoughtful about it. Good, so see if you can get your right knee onto the mat and your right shin. Back leg is 90 degrees or if it, you have to bring it closer. Nice, and then lift your chest, come forward. Press near your hands. 
Nice. And then inhale, as you come up, you're pressing down so hard that you can lift your arms up. And you're like, please just save me. Save me from this class. Nice. And then exhale, come back to center. Good job. And then let's go over to the left one more time. And then either doing this 90-90 with a twist, or if you want to bring this ankle in and do regular pigeon, you can do that. So this is my not great knee. So I'm going to be a little bit more thoughtful about my legs. So really press in your legs. Feel that nice opening in your hips. Take a restful version of this pose. Nice, and then inhale, come on up. Go the other way. So maybe 90, 90, 90. Or maybe you're bringing your heel in and taking your left leg back. So melt forward. Take this as a restful pose. Nice. Nice. And then inhale, come on up. Good. And then um, let's make our way onto all fours. Maybe there's a blanket underneath your knee. You're going to bring your right foot forward and wide. And squeeze that pelvic floor. Press your right hand into your right foot. So you're really pressing in your foot. Squeeze that left glute. All right, Allison, this is the pose I'm doing for you. Bend your leg. What this, and then you can go. I'm like, I want you to have your pose. I don't want you to feel unloved in Florida. So press your foot into your hand, your hand into your foot. Nice. And then exhale, release. We'll switch sides. Bring your left foot forward. I'm going fast so Allison can do it because she has one minute. Okay, bring your left foot forward. Squeeze your pelvic floor. Bend your right leg. So this is just a nice quad stretch. Anyway, I know Allison likes it, but Amanda likes it too, so good. And then just lay on your uh, bolster for, you have one minute, Allison. You can lay on your bolster and just let your shoulders open if you have time or not. Okay, then I'll leave you alone. All right. So let's go back to our right side. Right. Come forward. And now let's slide your leg to the right a little bit. And then dig your heel and bend your knee. And then straighten and pull and bend. Straighten and pull and bend. Good. And then see, you can use your block under your hands, you can put a block underneath your leg. See if you can dig that heel and move into sort of a, a more open split than you can normally do. So we did lots of hamstrings and we did hips. So I'm more open than normal doing all this work. Doesn't matter if you get there, it matters if you're digging your knee and you're opening and strengthening. Nice, thanks Allison. And then take a quick child's pose. Good job, you guys. And then let's switch sides. So bring your left foot forward into a lunge and then take it wider. So take your left foot wider, like out to the side a little bit. Nice. And then pull, and then take it a little farther forward, pull that heel back. Nice, Amanda. Engage your pelvic floor. And then see if you can walk that back leg back. Maybe you put a block underneath your left leg. Just dig that heel. Nice, Aoko. Look at you go. Look at that. Nice. Sorry, Pat, you already paid. <laughs> no refunds. 
<laughs> so you can do that dynamic work, go bend and straighten. Nice, and then take a nice child's pose. Good job, you guys. So all I care about is if you notice that you were more open than you normally are. I can't do a split either, but doing all that work makes me able to be more open than I normally am. So that's the goal, not to be perfect, just like in all the things that we do. Nice. And then let's make our way onto our backs. We'll do some uh, back bending. So let's lay on your back with your hands over your head. Press your feet into the mat. And if you need to, you can take your feet a little wider. Hi. Hi. Ooh. Can you move over there? Good. And then press in your feet. And let's just start with rocking your hips forward and back, which is nice on your low back. And then when you're ready, press in your feet, lift your hips. Squeeze your booty. Press in your feet and see if you can press your feet out to the side a little bit. Press your legs wide. Nice. And then exhale, bring your hips on down. Take your feet as wide as the mat, go from side to side. Nice. And then bring your feet back to set up. You can stay with rocking your hips if your back isn't happy yet or pressing your feet, lift your hips. And then bring your hands on either side of your thighs. So press your thighs into your hands. So you feel the outside of your legs turn on. And then leave your hands here. You can grab the sides of the mat. You can interlace your hands underneath you and press into the backs of your arms. Squeeze your booty, lift your hips. Maybe come up onto your toes. Good, and then release your arms, bring your booty on down. Take your feet, take your legs from side to side. Nice, and then we're gonna do that one more time. In a minute, I wanna see if we can go from this into your shoulder stand. All right, so press in your feet. You can rock your hips or just squeeze your booty on up. Nice, grab the sides of the mat. Interlace your hands underneath the mat or come up onto your toes and bring your hands underneath your hips. So if you wanna go from here into shoulder stand, bring your toes in and bring your right knee in, send your right leg up. See how you feel there? Bring your left knee in, nice. Bring your left leg up. You don't have to do this. I just wanted to do this with Amanda. If you're up in shoulder stand, press in those legs, make them active again, like you're standing on the ceiling. Oh, what a feeling, dancing on the ceiling. If you're too young to know that song, I'm sorry. And then whatever you're doing, bring your feet behind you. Be careful of your neck. See if you can press in your toes. Nice, and then slowly make your way back down to the floor one vertebrae at a time. Nice, good job. All right, and then bring your right ankle onto your left knee, pull that in. Nice. You can grab your right foot and pull it with your left hand. You can press away with your right knee. Feel that nice outer hip stretch. Relax your shoulders. Nice. And then bring your right knee on top of your left, hands out to the side, twist over to the left. Reach into your hands. Engage your pelvic floor. Feel that nice release on your right outer hip. Good, and then come back to center. Hug your knees in your chest. Bring your feet to the mat, hands out to the side. Take your left ankle onto your right knee. Good, pull that right knee in with your, or your left knee in with your right knee. 
Feel that nice stretch in your outer hip. Maybe grab your left foot with your right hand, pull it towards you. Grab your left knee, press it away. Nice. And then bring your right foot to the mat, slide your left knee on top of your right and twist over to the right. Reach into your hands, engage your pelvic floor. Nice, and then come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Good. And then I'm going to have you uh, bring your feet to the mat. Bring your right knee into your chest and your right leg up. Press that foot away. If you're more open, you can straighten your left leg. And then take your right hand on the outside of your right leg, press your right leg out to the side. Pull your leg with your hand, your hand with your leg and keep that left hip on the ground. Nice, come back to center, straighten that left leg and kind of dig that heel. And take your left hand on the outside of your right leg, bring it part way across or all the way across. See what works for you. Press your leg into your arm, your arm into your leg. Breathe. Come back to center, hug your knees in your chest. And we'll just do the other side. Right foot to the mat, left leg up. And then if you're more open, you can straighten your right leg. Good, press that left leg like you're Standing on the ceiling, make it active. So if you have to take it farther away, take it farther away. So take your leg a little farther away, Marianne. Like towards the front of the front of the room. So your shoulders relax and take hold your leg all the way lower. Yes. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And then grab the outside of your left leg with your left arm. Make a little shelf. Good, maybe hold behind your knee. Press that leg straight. Nice, relax your shoulders. Good, and then come back to center. Straighten your right leg on the mat, kind of dig your heel. Good, and then press your foot and come over to the left. So if you have to, take your foot farther away from you. Take your foot towards the, yeah, and then come across. Good, and then grab behind your right knee, press your knee into your hand, your hand into your knee. Squeeze your booty. Nice, and then come back to center, hug your knees in your chest. Good. And then take the soles of your feet together, let your knees come out to the side. If you want to, put blocks underneath your knees. You can put, um, you can put the blanket underneath your knees. You can put your fists underneath your knees. Or you can come into just full Shavasana, whatever feels good to you. And just take a moment to feel connected with the ground. Get comfortable and settle. And then notice how, when you engage your hamstrings and your hips, how you could get so much further into a pose because you were strengthening, not just stretching. How you could balance better. How you could stretch deeper. And 
And then since we mostly focused on our lower body, let's bring our focus to being grounded, supported, stable. So imagine your favorite place in nature or your favorite place in your house, someplace that makes you feel safe. And then with that visualization, take a slow breath in. and a slow breath out. Slow breath in. Slow breath out. Try and make your focus on your exhale, on your calming. So inhale into being grounded, being safe, And then exhale slowly, sending that out to yourself. Inhale, I am grounded, I am safe, I am supported. Exhale, notice where your body is connected with the floor. Inhale, visualize that space where you feel safe. Exhale, send that back to yourself. And then just take a relaxed smile. Feeling good, feeling safe. And then as you're ready, gently roll to one side, hugging your knees to your chest. And then making your way on up to a comfortable seated position. <laughs> bringing your hands to your heart. Jake has joined us and namaste. <laughs> Thank you for laughing, Fiona. <laughs> Jake has decided he's the teacher now. <laughs>